Today we're working on the uh, the saddle tank for the 58. Um, this is the this is the front of the saddle tank, so the big plate, the smoke box door will be right here. So on each side, uh, it had some areas where it had been burned into before. Apparently, when they took the saddle tank off the locomotive at J and L, it was welded, so they they just cut right through. So we're getting a new piece of 5 16 inch plate, which is the thickness that this was built to, and we're going to trim all of this out, cut all this out, and take that new piece of plate and stick it in place and weld it in. So right now I'm just going to make, make the cuts here and uh, cut this out of here and get it ready for the new plate. So we have this hole right here in the uh, in the tank we have to uh, fix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out and then I have a piece of 5 16 inch plate that I made and then we'll stick it in place here and then flush weld it and grind it and probably won't notice it. So the first thing I want to do is kind of match up where I want it to go. mark around here and so that gives me the basic size now when I use the torch to cut that out it may burn that mark off so you have to uh, make the mark in something that won't burn off so And uh, so I'll go around, do that all the way around, and that will. Uh, so when I when I cut with the torch, I can see each one of these dots, and then I'll be able to cut this thing straight. So this uh, fits in there with a little bit of uh, oh, let's see. Okay, now this fits in there. Let's try it. Seems to work a little bit better. So it fits in there okay, but I'll pull this back out, I'll bevel this a little bit and so I can get a full penetration weld and then go around and weld it, grind it off and you'll hardly ever see it.
Okay, we have the uh, tank outside here to show what we've been doing. I'm cutting out the uh, these pockets for the sand boxes, and that'll be all replaced by with three eighth inch plate. It really is the only way to get in here to get access to this back corner, and also with the mount, I can get in here with the sandblaster and sandblast the interior. If I pull all four of these off, I can get unobstructed access to uh, about just about everywhere in this tank so I can sandblast and then put a coating on the interior and then cut these out a new plate and fabricate them and stick them back in. It'd be relatively easy just three flat pieces um, fit them in place, weld them, weld up all around here and it's done. Um, we had this corner pocket here was all rotted out so we got rid of that uh, I've got uh, I got four of these holes to uh, to close off and let's see yeah see that shows just about what the uh, what these pockets look like and then of course we have uh, what we've already done up front and there you can see all that scale in there that you know it's it's hard to get get at like all that that's um back behind the pocket in the uh, in the curved portion there that that stuff does not come out uh unless you cut all that out and really chip at it so really have no choice but to pull these pockets out and then over here you can see how thin the it's rotted through so uh, that one needs to come out and then the same thing with this and I've already started on this one I've already made this cut and I just keep going up and around with the wire wheel or not the wire wheel but the uh, the the cutoff wheel and then you can see more of that uh, how everything is just caked in there and you can't uh, I mean I've been beating on that with the uh, um, with the air chisel for quite a while and it's still hard to get out but the only way is we're just going to cut this section out and replace it and clean all that and then there's this pretty horrible weld there that um, that we're going to grind off and then as for underneath here there isn't all that much this um, this curved portion seems to be in fairly decent shape so blast it and paint in here it's about all I think we're going to need and then you get down you look underneath here um one of the uh uh one of the drains i think this went to the uh, uh injector and then there's a plug over there uh that'll go to a crossover pipe which will go down underneath the boiler and then come up into the plug on that side and basically it it uh it equalizes the water in the leg so once you get below you know once the water gets below this level if there's nothing to equalize and depending on which injector you're using is which side you're drawing water out of so the equalizing pipe will allow the uh, the tank to stay level on both sides well that's all we have for today for this installment of the JNL 58 project uh, be sure to uh, like this video and, and subscribe to our channel and uh, we will uh, be bringing more videos of the JNL 58 restoration as work progresses. <laughs>